I just did my beer run today. I picked up a bottle of Smutty Nose. Part of the Big Beer series. It's Farmhouse Ale. It's a Saison. Haven't tried this one yet, so I'm going to open it up and check a drink here in just a minute. It's the cold one. It come out of the cooler. Uh, talked about this one in my last video. Foothills Brewery Hoppium. Or Hoppium, however you say it. I, I say Hoppium. Um, it's a great session beer, uh, IPA, and I also picked up a Canadian, Belgian style beer, Unibro, it's called Maldite, I've had this one before, it's real nice, um, 750 milliliter bottle for, I think about 8 bucks, so it's not terribly expensive, and it's a really good beer, if you've never tried any of the Unibro beers, or Unibrow, I'm not exactly sure how you pronounce it, uh, give those a try. All of them I've tried has been really good. Uh, that's pretty much the results of my beer run for today. And I'm going to set this camera up and get the tripod set up and go ahead and do a pour on that smutty nose. And I'll be right back. Hey everybody, happy homebrew Wednesday. It's Brad here at the uh, Wild Boys Brewery Puka NC YouTube channel. I hope everybody's had a good week. Um, don't have a whole lot going on as far as my homebrews go. I'm going to bottle tomorrow. Um, I think I'm also probably after I get done bottling, I'm going to do an IPA. I sit down with a, try a new brew store out. Uh, it's Big Dan's Brew Shed in Greensboro, North Carolina. Uh, super nice guy. He's a master brewer. He's got a whole wall full of ribbons up behind the cash register. He's only been in business now for about uh, since last july there in greensboro and uh is actually one of his competitors turned me on to him because he had a better uh hop selection than the other guy did so i went down there and talked to him and uh, he helped me out i'm doing an ipa next uh, i basically told him this is going to be my second all grain brew um, he asked me what kind of ipas i liked uh it's kind of funny he actually asked me if i liked the uh Foothills Brewery Hoppy in my IPA and I started laughing. I said, yeah, I just had one the day before I come down there. And so we, uh, I'm going to do a IPA similar to that one. Uh, it's got Columbus, uh, Centennial, and Simico. And it's also got uh, Columbus and Cascade at the uh, Flame Out. So I'm going to do that. I'm doing a uh, 13 pounds of two row uh, pail, uh, one pound of crystal 15, and a quarter pound of crystal 40. And then he also told me about the uh, another method that I have not used yet uh, about whirlpooling, about uh, putting that last drop in and then letting the uh, letting it steep for 30 minutes before you chill it. And I'm going to try that. Uh, that's what I got going on with my IPA. I'm going to probably either do that tomorrow or do it Sunday. I'm going to bottle tomorrow for sure. I've got to get that um, black rye IPA in the bottle. It's overdue for a bottling, uh, so I'm going to go ahead and do that. Uh, right now, I've got this uh, Smutty Nose Farmhouse Ale Saison. I'm going to go ahead and give it a pour and check it out. Let you guys know what I think about that. I've tried the uh, Gravitation. And this is part of the same series as the Gravitation. Uh, this one is uh, the Big Beer series. Uh, it's released annually in limited quantities. Our farmhouse ale is an homage to traditional European beers brewed for quenching the thirst of farm workers or saisonniers. A unique Belgian saison yeast is used to impart a mixture of spicy, fruity, and earthy notes along with lip-smacking palatability. Uh, they do mark down what year it is they have here. They've got 08, 09, 2010, 2011. This was notched at 11. Uh, it is, I'm trying to see here if it's got the ABV on the bottle. The other one did. It was on the uh, end cap. I don't think it's actually on this label for some reason. I'm think I'm remembering this one. I think was about seven and a half or maybe eight percent. Um, but anyway, let's give it a pour. Got the tulip. Camera. Let's 
for a nice light yellow color straw if it wasn't so cloudy it would almost look like a macro lager but I guarantee you it's not going to taste like one and this is a bomber so I'm not going to get the yeast in the first one this is relatively clear I can smell the yeast from from here already it's uh, very carbonated poured about a half a finger ahead smells good it smells dry fruity just like the description fruity esters um, um, let's go ahead and give it a give it a taste here cheers that's good I just recently tried the uh, Alma Gang Hennepin that's their, uh, that's a, I think a traditional uh, Belgian Saison. I think it's probably a little bit better than this one. This one's not quite as funky tasting as that one was. I'm like, if you don't like the funky taste, you might like this one better. It's not bad. It's good. It tastes a lot like the other one. It's just not quite as... Um, the other one was on tap, so there was no yeast in the bottle on that one, and it was still way funkier tasting than this one was. Uh, yeast was a lot more prevalent in that one, it seemed like. This one's still pretty good. I don't know if I'll buy this one again or not. Um, kind of going to have to wait and see how it is after I let it warm up. I may do a quick follow-up on that one on next week's video or something. Um, it's a decent beer. It's above average. It's not terribly expensive. It's um, it's like eight bucks for a bomber, which is it's not cheap, but it's not super expensive considering some of them are on up around 12, 14, 20 bucks, depending on what they are. But when you compare it to the uh, Hopium IPA from Foothills that I can get for four dollars and twenty cents a bomber, it's almost twice as much. So I would actually would have rather had two bottles of that instead of this one. But hey, you don't know till you try them. Uh, it's the only way you're going to try something new, find something you like, so give it a shot. You're probably going to wind up drinking more of them you don't really like that much than finding one you really love. Uh, I'm not down on this one. It's decent. It just smells really, fru really fruity and really dry. Yeah, it's least leaving a decent amount of lacing on the, the glass. I haven't really tried that many Saison, so I don't have that much to compare it to. Uh, this is my second one. I like the other one a little bit better. But it's worth trying. If you haven't ever checked it out, give it a shot. You might like it better than I do. I'm probably give this one like a B minus, C plus. Um, for the price, I'm expecting it to be a little bit better than what it is. It doesn't blow my doors off like the Gravitation did. The Gravitation's totally kick-ass. If you can find that one, check it out. It's better than this one. This one's okay. Anyway, I hope everybody has a good uh, homebrew Wednesday. And uh, check back next week and uh, have some more updates on my homebrew. Uh, probably try to video a little bit of my uh, brewing my IPA here in the next couple of days. And I'll just post that on my next week's homebrew Wednesday. Hope everybody has a good one. Cheers.